being prepared in the case of an emergency or just becoming more self-sufficient in terms of power is something that I'm thinking a lot about and which is why I want to build our own or we're working on building our own uh, battery backup system. So all that stuff is kind of on my mind and recently I was contacted by this company called Anchor Solix and they have this new house battery system and they were asking if I wanted to check it out and I was like okay cool that's exactly what I'm thinking about right now I love checking out new products so let's just take a look at this and see what this one is all about. When I see this, I think to myself, is this what every house is going to have moving forward? Like, okay, here we have our kitchen, here's the battery backup system. I mean, it's the way of the future, right? So what do we have here? This is the Anchor Solix F3800. There's a link to the Kickstarter campaign below with a 35% discount. So, as you can see, it's quite large and I mean quite sleek. Um, and it looks kind of like one of these solar generators that I have reviewed in the past on the channel. However, it is much larger. It's kind of like it's on steroids, right? It almost looks like an appliance in your house. Um, and I guess that's what they're going for here because it's not like a, a DIY system. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the negative aspect sometimes of electronics and wires and, and all of that. It can get quite ugly and messy, whereas this is like beautiful. This system features 6,000 watts of output and 3,840 to 26,880 watt hour of capacity. So you can either go with the base model or you can upgrade to more power depending on what your situation looks like. So there are two ways to use a system like this, obviously. I mean, you can connect it to the wall so it's always charged up, ready to go in case the power goes, or you can connect it to a house solar system or even a portable solar system, in which case you could actually use it more integrated in your life. Solar comes energy stored in the to the batteries, you can use it, um, or it's more of just an emergency situation. Now, one of the things I'm finding interesting about this system here is it's designed to charge your EV directly through it. Now, this is not the case with most portable battery systems. You can't charge the EV through them. I've tried many times. This is designed for it. And it's actually kind of a cool point because when you have an EV, I have an EV, um, you're kind of vulnerable in the case of a power outage. Often you can find gas, <laughs> but you can't often find electricity when the power goes. So just to have that option that you can charge it up with it, I think that's kind of cool. So when I see a system like this, I think to myself, okay, what can you actually do with this? So first off, we have the 6,000 watt inverter, right? What can you do with that? Well, that determines how much you can draw at the same time, right? And to be honest, I mean, 6,000 watts is a lot. You are probably not really drawing 6,000 watts simultaneously too often in your everyday life. 3,840 watt hour battery is a good size battery. I mean, it's definitely larger than many of these portable batteries that I have reviewed. So it all depends on how you're using it, right? Personally, this is what I think is essential for me. I want to be able to run my fridge and freezer I don't want to lose all my food. I want to be able to run our well pump because we live in the country. We have a well. That's how we get our water. Um, I want to be able to have like lights, basic charging, and then some basic like cooking. So maybe like toaster oven, water kettle, hot plate, that kind of thing. Um, and if I wanted to run those things, um, 3,840 watt hours on the baseline should be able to get you through that like no problem. Of course, if you were to increase your battery supply to a larger amount. I mean, you have a lot more to work with. If you're thinking about getting a house battery system, let me tell you our situation right now. Um, so we have a house generator. It runs on propane. Works great in the sense that it turns on when the power goes. We live in the country, so we have power outage rather frequently. It is annoying in many ways, however, though, because it's loud. It's loud outside, it's loud inside, and it uses a lot of propane. So, it, I mean, it just goes nonstop. So if you want to keep the power on, you have to keep running it, which means it sucks an enormous amount of propane. It gets really expensive. Um, and this is really why I want to have a battery backup system so that you can control like what you actually want to use your power on and not just like aimlessly suck out propane and then you have the fumes and yeah, the noise, the pollutants, all of that. So I think a house generator in terms of gas, propane is like really backwards. I mean, that's not the direction you want to go. Uh, whereas battery power is quiet and clean, so much more efficient. A couple of things that they are featuring about this. You only need one electrician to install and many other similar systems on the market. They say you need three to four installers. So installation cost is lower. 
the Anker Solix 4 F3800 supports both 120 and 240 volt. So that means you can, you know, run your dryer, your 240 volt table saw, things like that. Your EV, you can charge up your EV level 2. It's designed to run for like 10 years of everyday use and you can recharge it in multiple ways. I guess you can recharge it with a generator, with solar, the wall. Um, and it can charge up to 80% within an hour. So even if you were not super prepared, but you're like, okay, there's a storm coming this afternoon, you'll have time to recharge everything up. Okay, so the base model here, 3,840 watt hours of power, you can upgrade that up to 26,900. But if you want like a super system where you want like a lot of power, you can even get two of these systems. So two main units and 12 additional batteries with, for a capacity of 53,800. <laughs> so that's a lot. So, I mean, if you were in the situation where you're like, okay, I want to be able to live really comfortably off grid with no power coming in, no solar, nothing like that for like, I don't know, two weeks or something. Um, I mean, this would provide that. So anyway, as I'm looking through here, I think this looks kind of interesting. Uh, it has a cool design, has a lot of power, good inverter, seems easy to set up. So basically everything that you're looking for in a, a home backup system. So if you're curious about this, make sure to check out their Kickstarter campaign in the description below. 35% off using that link. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.